Days of Change. I'm Dr. Irina Kolos. The program is supported by Bazaar Supermarkets. Today we'll make farmer cheese patties. This meal is maybe uh, more popular among uh, Russian speaking population, but I'll introduce you to a new meal, mostly breakfast for breakfast. We'll use farmer cheese, non fat. We'll use 0% Mediterranean style uh, yogurt, almond, um, almond meal or almond flour, oatmeal flour, fructose, egg, and other sides ingredients. You may found like, hundreds of recipes like this, but by changing several things, we'll make them much healthier and slimming. So this is pound. So we'll take half, half a pound farmer cheese. Why we use non-fat in this case. By the way, very good company, very good products. BioLife, I love, love their products. And uh, they have many kinds of, farm, kinds of farmer cheese, but for this particular recipe, we'll use non-fat. 0% yogurt. We'll go here. So we have half pound of farmer cheese and two tablespoons of 0% um, yogurt. We'll add some salt, just a little bit, and the uh, baking powder. Also, just dash. Fructose. It depends how sweet you like it, but we need some sweetness. So one tablespoon, no, one teaspoon of fructose. It's it's enough. Okay, let's put one and a half, and one egg. One egg. Well, now we are getting this mixture and please mix well, very, very well. Everything should be incorporated and the, the mixture should be smooth before we add Next ingredient. Well, it looks okay. Is it an egg? We have two kinds of flour here. Almond flour and oatmeal flour. Almond flour is going inside. When our oatmeal flour will go outside, I'll show you how. This is quarter of cup. And I'll add quarter of cup for now and see how, how it goes. Because I need to get a particular texture, not too liquid and not too thick. So we'll do some research here. So it was quarter. I'm adding another quarter of um, almond flour inside, inside. You'll see now why I am doing so. You see, now we need something to hold them because almond flour is good and it is great for baking. But we are using it now for something we are going to cook on the skillet. That's why I'll add a little bit of oatmeal flour inside also. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. Two, oh, you see? You see how it changes? Wonderful. This is exactly what we need. 
but this is not all. This is good. This is good. But we cannot cook, cook it like this, right? So what we need to do is cover them in oatmeal flour to make them possible for cooking, right? So I'm making this Um, pile oatmeal flour and I drop about tablespoon inside then I cover this all with oatmeal flour and definitely I kind of formed it I form it and particularly it goes inside but this makes these patties soft inside and crispy outside and this is very very nice but you know what i think it is still liquid maybe i'll add a little bit inside see one is ready let me add inside maybe one more we added two tablespoons we'll add one more Because this is the secret, actually, it should be, it shouldn't be thick. It, the, it, it should be covered with the flour for, as I men mentioned, crispy results. This meal is very popular. I remember being a kid and waking in the morning and mom was making this. But of course we were using other ingredients. That's why being in love with this meal and this breakfast, I inspire you and I discover it another recipe with better ingredients. And I inspire you to do the same. Here are our future parties. Now we need to cook them. Preheat skillet. It's better to have thick skillet, a flon skillet. And uh, now we'll cook them definitely on olive oil. And first you are doing high heat. It should be high. Uh-huh. You see? Nice. They'll get a little bit bigger, but not much. Not like cookies. When we start placing them there, we need to reduce heat to medium. Let's say I had 10 here, I reduce it to five because we want them to be cooked inside, not just create the crust. Oh, lovely. One more. Now let them cook a little bit until goldish crust from one side and then I'll turn them. It looks like they're ready from one side. I see they're crispy. See? So let's turn them and cook from another side. It takes some time 
really it's maybe three minutes maybe even more so don't hurry just let them cook Well, we'll be patient for another several minutes before we can serve them and eat them. Look how crispy and uh, goldish they are. They got a little bit bigger because I put uh, baking powder inside. Very lovely and you know, they they're soft inside they're crispy as i promised they're crispy outside and soft inside let's say you cooked it for breakfast now how you serve it how to eat it first you can eat it just just it is they're, they're perfect like like that but you can do even more jam do not afraid of jam with fructose. This jam is absolutely fabulous. In, uh, uh, my, I think in all bazaar supermarkets, you can find many varieties with sugar, but several varieties also with fructose. Choose it. It's incredibly delicious. It is so good. Do not buy the substitute. They, they're not delicious at all. They're not tasty, but is natural or 100% fruit or with fructose it's totally different taste so I, I highly recommend it and yogurt 0% yogurt which we already used inside we can use it here also so let's start a feast you see you can do this oh you can do this Oh, the best part, you can do both. And this is the best. My niece had a doggy and he liked to eat it with sour cream and jam. So we are not eating sour cream today, but we'll show how delicious and nice it can be. These farmer cheese patties can be great breakfast for your entire family. Try it, it's delicious, it doesn't have any saturated fats, it doesn't have sugar, it is even gluten-free if you follow this diet. Enjoy and come back. You can find more recipes on weightdestiny.com and actontv.arc. Stay with us.